hi everyone in today's video i am going to discuss the difference between primitive and non-primitive or reference data types in java also we will understand how these these data types are stored in different parts of a memory so java basically support two types of variables one is primitive and the another one is non-primitive or reference data type so what is primitive data type so in so basically a primitive data type is predefined by the programming language so in java there are eight primitive types and these are int byte short long float double boolean and char so these are not considered as objects and they store the actual value what it means is when we declare any primitive type let's say if i declare int a equal to 20 so it simply stores the actual value the actual value it means in variable a the value store is 20 right and primitive values are stored on the stack so at high level when our code runs it uses two kinds of memory for storing and manipulating these data types one is stay one one is stack and the another one is heap area right and when code encounter any primitive declaration for example like this it simply put or stores the value in a stack right so next what is reference or non-primitive data type in simple words a variable of class type is known as reference data type and these data types are not defined by the programming language it is defined by the programmers and it contains the address or reference of a dynamically created object for example here the variable p is of person type and the person represent a class so when we have to create its object we simply use new operator so this new operator create its object and assign its address in this variable p so this object is created in a heap and its address is assigned so p refers its address so p will reference the address of a person object and the actual object is created in a heap memory and the variable reference its address are stored on the stack so p is a variable which refers to the address of this object right so let's take few code sample and see how it works so let's understand the main difference between these two data types and its storage in different memory location with the help of code samples right so the first point of comparison is in terms of memory storage area right so primitive values are stored on the stack and in case of reference or non-primitive type the object is created in a heap memory and the variable reference its address are stored on the stack so to clarify this point so let me take an example so here i have declared a variable a which is of n type right and it is primitive so when the code runs a is stored on a stack so here i have created two separate memory area one is a stack and one is heap right so when code runs and it encounters any primitive declaration so it simply store its value on a stack definitely this memory area has some address and for simplicity let's ignore this point as of now right so let's declare another variable let's declare another variable b which is of reference type right so in this case the value so this value 30 so i am talking about this statement integer b equal to new integer 30 so b is of ref uh, b is a b is a variable which is of reference type right so this object the object is created in a heap area so the value is stored on a heap and variable p variable p reference the address 
where it is actually stored in a heap right so this variable reference its address so it does not store the actual value it just reference the address of a heap area where this value is stored right now i hope this point is clear so let's move to more complex type right so let's so here we have a class person which have one attribute right which have one attribute which is of type string so it has attribute name which is of type string and string also string is also a class so when we create an object of this person so when we create an object of a person class this p points to the address of this object where it is stored in a memory right and internally internally this name attribute points to the address where this value is stored this value raj is stored basically because this string is also a class so it also allocates some space in a heap right so where the value is stored so this value is stored let's say somewhere in a heap this name attribute will points to the address of this value and this p will points to the address of this object right in which there is a name attribute so when when we create person object new person and pass the value raj in our constructor right so the object is created and p will reference it address and the name will reference the address of this value raj i hope this is also clear now the second important difference is in in terms of assignment operator so when we assign a value to primitive data types the primitive value is copied what it means is so let's say i declare one variable a and its value is 50 so i declare another variable b in which i assign the value of a so this value 50 is copied in b and if i change the value of b let's say after this if i simply increment the value of b it will not change the value of a right so here the value is copied in case of reference type the address is copied it means when we assign reference type values both will point to the same address and the object is shared between two reference variables so here if i created an object of this person class so the address so p will point its address and if i create another object and assign simply assign p it will f will also reference the same address now p and f will reference the same address and the object is present in a heap memory if i change anything in f it will also reflect in p right so let's understand by taking an example so here i have created one more reference type f and assign the value of p and in p we have the address of this object right so in f also we have the address of this object so now both n f and p will points to the same address and if i change anything in f it will also reflect in p right so let me change so let me change set the name gorov right so when we set the name gorov so it will points to this location where this value is stored and both will points to the same address so if in p also if someone uh, call the call its getter let's say p dot get name it will also give it will also return the name gorov right but in case of primitive let me declare one primitive type and the variable name is c and assign its value 
assign the value of a so the value is copied which is 50 so initially is it is 50 and when i do the increment when i do c plus plus it will increment its value but it will increments the value of this variable c and the new value is replaced i mean the new value is 51 it will not change the value of a but in reference type if both will points to the same address if i change anything in one of the reference type it will also reflect in another right let's discuss the third difference and the third difference is in terms of comparison operator so when we compare primitive variables their value will be compared right and in case of reference type their address is compared it means two object with same content may be seen as not equal so it so therefore it is highly recommend you compare object type with this equals method so object type should always be compared with equals method right so let me take an example so in this code snippet so here i have declared two primitive types a and b and if i compare with this comparison operator and this if else simply if the values are equals print equal else not equal and in case of primitive their value is compared right so when this value is compared it is equal right and here i have declared two reference type right so both have the same content java but since we are creating an object both will be on different memory location and in this string one and string two the uh, their address is assigned they they refers to their address so when we compare with comparison operator when we compare two object with comparison operator their address is compared and definitely their address is different so this line of code will not execute but when we use the equals its content is compared so java is compared with java and this statement is printed so you can see both strings have same content right now let's move to the last difference i mean for this tutorial this is the large difference so the primitive types can never be null right so when we declare any primitive and if we don't assign any value they take their default value for example for boolean their default value is fa false for byte short int and long their default value is zero for float and double their default value is 0, 0.0 reference type can be null right so if we don't assign any value in reference type it is simply null so null simply indicate the absence of value right so for this let's see this code snippet so in this class i have two attributes so i have declared two attributes age and name age is of primitive type and this name is of reference type and when i printed the value of age and name so their default value is zero it is printed and in case of reference type it is null right so i hope you really enjoyed this video and that's it for this video tutorial please like this video share with your friends and subscribe our channel for more such video tutorials thank you thank you for watching this tutorial and thanks for your time